Mm. The measuring tape says you're about 1.8 meters. I wish that was my height, but my wife measured me and said I was 1.76 meters. Why do you think there is such a discrepancy? Mm. Yes, why is there such a discrepancy? Well, assuming there is no systematic error in the measuring tape, some random errors could have arised when you or my wife took the reading off the measuring tape. Hold on, what is a systematic error and what is a random error? Systematic errors are errors that are intrinsic to the measuring instrument itself. For example, a measuring instrument might not start from zero, and this is known as a zero error. Mm -hmm. Usually, such errors are always consistent regardless of the number of times you take the reading. So, if there is a systematic error of plus one centimeter, then the reading would always be one centimeter more. Okay, so if I have a faulty ruler that starts from 2 cm, then my readings are always 2 cm more, right? That's right. On the other hand, Random errors are errors due to an inability to take measurements in the exact same way. For example, when you want to measure a really long piece of string over a meter long using only a meter rule, then you would need to estimate where one measurement ends and where the next one starts. Hence, it is not likely that you would get the same measurement every time you measure that piece of string because too much estimation was involved. Also, there might be a slight change in the alignment or the angle you are looking at when taking the reading. Then, what went wrong with me measuring your height? In your case, the measuring tape might not be straightened properly when you or my wife took my height, hence a distance in the height measured. Hmm, I see. Also, your measurements might be inaccurate due to parallax error, which is one of the most common sources of random errors. Whoa, information overload. D don't worry, don't worry. I'll show you the errors I just described using instruments in the lab. That would be helpful.